What is happening YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C Dub and I'm back with another video. Today, I wanna tackle an interesting topic. I wanna to give you 10 things that I have learned from eating one meal a day and I'm gonna do it right after this. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is C-Dub, and if you're new to the channel, I lost 125 pounds eating one meal a day. And during the 17 months that I have done this, I've learned an awful lot of things. So I wanted to bring a video to you guys expressing some of the things I learned and give you guys a chance in the comments down below to tell me what you've learned if you're in the middle of your journey or you've already accomplished your journey. And for those of you that are just starting, some insight into some of the things you may learn. So leave me comments down below about some of the things you've learned, especially if they're not in the 10 things that I have. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Let's hop right on into this video. So my first reason is timing is everything. That's the first thing that I learned. You know, and, and a, a lot of people will kind of take a step back and say, exactly, what do you mean? And what I mean by timing is everything is that we get, we get taught that calories in, calories out is, is everything. But calories in and calories out will take care of itself when you have your timing down. And when you eat in, in a time with breaks in between, your body resets its hormones and gets set into a situation where you start to feel better and that helps you on your weight loss journey. And I think that, that, that your hormones play such a huge role and that we're not taught that in weight loss. So I think that when you get your timing down and you've put yourself in a situation where your timing is right, everything else you want to do will fall into place. The number two thing that I have learned is that food is not everything in life and there's much more to life than what we sit down and eat and that in the situations we do eat because we tie so much of our eating to celebrating things that we've done in our lives and moments in our lives that we start to tie food as an important aspect of, of life and if you think about preparing for any event you do whether you're, you're going to a water park or you're gonna hang out and you're gonna do this or that, there always is the question of when we're gonna eat and, and how we're gonna feed this and what are we gonna do about food. And once you detach yourself from that and you're only eating once and you're only worrying about it one time a day, you start to realize how it's not that important to figure out all of our life being revolving around it and, and just backing away from food. And that is such a powerful thing that I've learned. All right, the number three thing that I've learned is that you can get energy without taking supplements. You know, I always thought that you had to have coffee or I had to have some kind of caffeine, that um, energy drinks, you know, that these kind of things is when we're lacking in our energy, we've got to have to supplement ourselves to get ourselves through the day or even napping. I was a big opponent of napping and feeling like that was the only way to reset my energy levels. But I did not realize that by eating one meal a day, what I was gonna end up doing is teaching my body to run on a different source of fuel, being my own body fat, and that that source of fuel is not only efficient, but it feels better than uh, you know any kind of supplemented source. So I think it's huge once you get rolling in the OMAD process to understand that your energy levels can come without taking anything at all, and you don't need supplements. Number four thing I learned was how crazy people were going to think I am when I tell them I eat one meal a day. Now, I want to say with a disclaimer, now that I've lost a bunch of weight and people see me every day and they see me walking in the hallways and they see me and, and, and all these elements, people are much more receptive to hearing me now. But still, the first time when I say, well, listen, you know, I only eat once a day, they kind of look at me crazy. One of the things I've done to combat that is I backtrack that and say, but I think that most people should start doing 16 and 8, and I think it's the way to go. And I push 16 and 8 at people first and not OMAD because it's a much easier thing for them to wrap their head around. They don't eat him one time a day. But there's one thing I definitely learned in this process is people think you're crazy when you tell them you're only eating one meal a day. All right, the number five thing, the number five thing I have learned doing this is that Hunger is not something we really understand in, in our culture today. 
I think that there are places in the world that are absolutely hungry and I'm not diminishing any of them. But coming from where I'm coming from, Williamsburg, Virginia, not a lot of people know what being hungry truly is. And so when you're talking about sitting down and actually feeling the desire to eat is not necessarily hunger. And that hunger comes as a much deeper thing. And the farther you go without food, the less hungry you get. And it's a, a weird thing that you start to learn that a lot of times what we're actually doing is we're craving the sugars and we're craving the things that we're addicted to more than we actually are hungry. And OMAD has taught me that. The number six thing, the number six thing that I have learned is that we overcomplicate things. You know, immediately the first thing is somebody that already is familiar with fasting that's talking to me wants to say when I tell them I'm doing OMAD is, what diet am I doing? Do I drink um, diet uh, sodas or zero calorie sodas? Do I um, practice this or that? Or, or how? To, what are my micros? Or what are my calorie counts? Or what? A, and there's so much of that that goes on because really I think ultimately we've been misled for so long that we think that there's just all these obstacles that we should have to jump through to lose weight. When in the real world and the reality of things are, if you're only eating once, it's gonna be very hard for you to mess it up. It's gonna be very hard for you to truly do something that is gonna you know, slow your weight loss down. Eating one time a day is going to get you to lose weight most of the time without any kind of other effort involved but we must as human beings for some reason overcomplicate things and and worry too much about all these other things and stress ourselves out which actually prevents us from losing weight so and uh, you know i've learned that taking a step back from that and just going with the flow you know and not worrying so much about what it is i'm eating you know of course you guys know i try to stick to whole fruits and vegetables i try to eat the meats and i try to kind of keep it organic or, or do my best to do so but if i'm at your house and those things aren't offered i'm going to eat and i'm we're going to be able to do the things that that are necessary to get me through to the next day and if i overdo it i can adjust and the next day and it's not a big deal and i think that that is something that um omad has definitely taught me number seven thing that i've learned it's actually possible to lose weight eating whatever you want boom mind blown you know, we, we hear all the time that, you know, it is a calorie thing and we hear all the time that, sure, you can have, you can eat whatever you want, but, you know, you got to keep it in a certain calorie contents and you can go to this place and you can look at the menus and you can do all that. And all of that's true. We should all kind of know that common sense wise by now, but you literally eating one time a day don't have to refrain from any one food. You know, if there's something that you incredibly love, you can have it and, and you can be okay. And you can kind of adjust yourself as you go. And you're gonna be able to, to enjoy the things you like. Now, again, I don't recommend going out and grabbing fast food, but you could literally eat fast food seven days a week and still lose weight if you're smart about your one meal. Now, of course, you can't have four quarter pounders with cheese, nine French fries and a 20 piece chicken McNugget in your one meal and expect to lose weight. But if you're smart about it, you can lose weight pretty much eating anything you want. Number eight. Number eight is that balance is the key to life. And I kind of heard that my whole life. I've even said it to other people. I'll even say, hey, you know, just trying to get my life in balance. One of the funny things uh, about me personally is I'm, I, I found the word the, the Tao and I've always been trying, the Tao means the path. I've always been trying to find my path and my, my balance. My whole life I've talked about it, but I never grasped that eating was a part of that. And that when you are overeating, you're taking time away from other parts of your life. But not only are you taking time away from other parts of your life, but you're focusing so much of your attention on things that really don't matter. And when you really get into not having to worry about that and only eating once, it's a very easy conversation with your family. My wife and I talk, it takes five minutes to figure out what we're gonna do for food the next day. We talk about it, we lay it down, we get it done, and it's out of the way. And that allows for more time for my family, it allows for more time in my job, it allows more time for me to do YouTube, and most importantly, it allows me more time to exercise, which has really taken something that I didn't have balance on. I didn't have the exercising. I was cutting my family short. I wasn't getting my work done at work. And 
just by eating one meal a day, I've been able to fix all of that and put it into this, this ball of goodness that now I'm able to do day in and day out. And so it has given me balance, which is just amazing. The ninth thing that I have learned is that when I was obese, I was sick and I did not even know it. Of course, you know that you're overweight. And of course, you know that you know, that isn't going to be a good thing long term. I think we all kind of comprehend that. We've all been told that our whole lives and we get it. But when I lost weight, I started to realize that my day in and day out life before when I was obese, that I was actually physically sick, that I didn't feel good, that I didn't feel the way we were meant to feel at 40 years old, let's say, because that's how old I am. So after losing the weight, I started to realize that there was a sickness in me. You can call it insulin resistance. We can call it pre-diabetic. We can just call it whatever you want to call it, just being obese. It, it, there was a level of illness there. And once I lost weight, I started to realize that things like exercising can actually be fun again like it was when you were a kid. If you think about a kid running out of the house to go play, he's not thinking about that exercise that he's getting as exercise it's just fun and so you can get back to that feeling when you, everything is in balance and you're feeling better and the weight has come off of you but it's a struggle in the beginning and the one thing that i definitely learned is that i was very sick before i started omad all right the tenth thing and the final thing that i'm going to bring to you today is that OMAD begins to heal your body. And OMAD, we've talked about it before, has helped my knee, my knee surgeries that have failed time and time again, now all of a sudden feel fine. I don't grow the skin tags anymore, it's reversed my sleep apnea, and the list goes on and on and on and on. And so ultimately speaking, you may not even realize it when you sit down to start a journey because you're just trying to lose weight, you're just trying to increase your lifespan, but what you're ultimately doing is you're giving your body a break, which is going to in turn give it a chance to heal itself. So OMAD is an amazing thing. OMAD is something that I will stand on the highest mountain and preach about. It's the reason I started this channel because I wanted you guys out there that are in the middle of your journey or starting your journey or thinking about your journey to understand that there is a method of weight loss that is out there that is simple, it's easy to apply and when you get in the middle of it you're going to benefit in ways that you never even understood so if you are in the middle of your journey i appreciate you for you know popping in and checking it out leave a comment down below telling us about some of these tips and things that maybe you have um, and if you're just about to start it or you just started your journey understand that th that weight loss is a side effect of omad but it's not the only one there are tons of side effects that are going to help you, tons of things and side effects in a good way, tons of things that are going to make you a better person because of this journey. So I hope that all of you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I know you see my face right here. Click on it. That'll help you subscribe. It'll help me grow and it'll help me spread the word to all the other people out there that OMAD is the way to go. It is a lifestyle that you won't regret if you put the work in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope it was helpful. Peace.